uh, that the congregation remain standing, please. Let's go to God in prayer. Lord, I thank you for this day, January 8th, 2022. I thank you for your mercy and your grace being in this place. I thank you for being part of the body of Christ. And we as believers, we're here to celebrate and to watch this miracle, this miracle of marriage. Thank you, Lord, for, again, your mercy despite the circumstances. We thank you for technology. This is where technology is truly a blessing. Yes. And God, we pray for this couple that they may exemplify you in their marriage. And I pray for all the witnesses and all the guests and all the, the entire team. We thank you for the privilege of being here this day. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Uh, you may be seated. As I read scripture from the fifth chapter of the book of Ephesians, I want you both to pay very close attention to the words stated here. They are the words of God, and the Holy Spirit will always honor these words as you stand on them in faith. And the key word is in faith. While the world understands that marriage is a legal contract, and we don't make light of that, at the same time, it is important to also understand that it is a spiritual contract. As two born again believers speak the word of God in faith, the power of God is released into your lives and establishes a covenant of union that shall not be broken. From this day forward, you will have the miracle working power of God working in your lives as you Commit yourself to this covenant. With these thoughts in mind, listen very carefully to these words. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, and even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. And then to you, Bernard, husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it, he might present it to himself, a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but as, and that it should be holy and without blemish. So men ought to love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. And let me repeat that. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourishes it and cherishes it, even as the Lord the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this cause a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. To you, Bernard, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior? Yes, I have. Have you uh, received the Holy Spirit to dwell in you? Yes. Awesome. And to you, Nicole, have you accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? I absolutely have. And have you received the Holy Spirit to dwell in you? Yes, I have. Awesome. To the, br to the bride and groom, now upon this public profession of your faith, you have made known to all men that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is your Savior. Jesus said to, uh, to Peter in Matthew 16, 18, that upon this rock I will build my church. This profession of faith will always be the central force of your marriage. Because of this profession of your faith, God's word says that you stand cleansed and forgiven 
from all your past. You are a new creation. Old things have passed away, and all things have become new. Today you stand before your family and friends as a living testimony to the uh, saving grace of God. When you made Jesus Christ the Lord of your lives, you were joined with him. According to 1 Corinthians 6, it says you are one spirit with him. Here in Ephesians, it says that you become one flesh with the Lord. You are his and he is yours. You are one together with him. Ecclesiastes 4 says, though one may be overpowered by another, two can withstand him. And a threefold cord is not easily broken. As you keep Jesus as the third cord of your marriage, you will be able to work through every difficulty in life together and not be broken. Today, you are establishing the unconditional love of God in this union. By this love, you will be able to overlook each other's weaknesses and grow from each other's strengths. Always remember to walk in forgiveness toward each other. Let me repeat that one. Always remember to walk in forgiveness toward each other and never allow the sun to go down on your wrath. And let me say to um, the wedding party and to the guests who are watching, I want to speak uh, just a few words to you because you have been chosen as close friends and partners. Your influence must always agree with God's word. From this day forward, I charge you as friends and family to do everything in your power to see that this union remains strong and happy and prosperous. Now the couple uh, will share their uh, personal vows. Uh, Bernard, give me one sec. There we go. So, when I first met you online, <laughs> the first thing that you said to me after I said hi, Okay. <laughs> Nicole? Mm -hmm. Can 
Can I take this down? Can I take my mask down? Okay, baby. That was good. <laughs> um, your generous and loving heart is what drew me in. I asked God for a man who would love me through all my stuff. Um, love me through all of my ways and my nuances, my idiosyncrasies. And God sent me you. <laughs> and you've been loving me through all of those things. I appreciate you for your faithfulness, your patience in our journey since meeting three years ago. And I adore you for the way you help me care for my mother and the way you take the lead in many of her needs. I adore you for that. I honor your servanthood in our church and your position in your family and your work ethic. Your family is my family. And my family is your family. Okay. I admire you for the way you go the extra mile to surprise me. <laughs> And it's a long extra mile, and I know it, because <laughs> I got to know everything. <laughs> I love you, and I trust God in this journey. I thank God for revealing our potential in him and in each other. Today, as I celebrate <laughs> my 55th soul day, <laughs> I celebrate our souls uniting as one. I vow to be quick to listen and slow to speak, to fight fair during times of disagreement, and to recover from heated debates swiftly and in love. Bernard Mason, Sr. I vow to love and cherish you from this day forward. I love you. Wow. Bernard, yes. do you and will you take Nicole as your wife, as your own flesh, to love her even as Christ loved the church, to protect her and care for her for the rest of your life? Yes, thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Make sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Technology. Yeah, technology. Incredible. Okay, uh, Bernard, repeat after me. I, Bernard. I, Bernard. According to the word of God. According to the word of God. Make a vow to you. Make a vow to you. This this day. To take you as, take you as my own flesh. My own flesh. To love you, to love you as Christ loves, as Christ loves the church. The church. And gave himself, and gave himself for it. For it. I will always protect you. And care for you. And care for you. For the rest of our lives. For the rest of our lives. I leave my mother. I leave my mother. And father. And father. And join myself to you. And join myself to you. To be a husband to you. To be a husband to you. From this point forward. From this point forward. I determine. I determine. To always look to God. First in our relationship. First in our relationship. And follow his wisdom. And follow his wisdom. For our future. For our future. I determine to be. I determine to be. The leader in our home. The leader in our home. And to always stand. And you always stand. On the word. On the word. 
for every decision we make. For every decision we make. You will be my wife. You will be my wife. As long as we both are alive. As long as we both are alive. And from this moment forward. From this moment forward. We shall be one together. We shall be one together. Nicole. <laughs> Nicole, yeah. I love you, my sister. I love you. Nicole, do you and will you take Bernard as your husband? I do. Submitting yourself to him as unto the Lord, showing reverence to him as the head of this union for the rest of your life. I will. Turn to Bernard and make this commitment of your faith. I, Nicole. I, Nicole. According to the word of God. According to the word of God. Make a vow to you this day. Make a vow to you this day. To submit myself to you. To submit myself to you. As unto the Lord. As unto the Lord, they can see you. <laughs> they can all see you. <laughs> Behave, Bernard. I will always show reverence. I will always show reverence. To you as the head of this union. To you as the head of this union. From this moment forward. From this moment forward. I determine. I determine. To be your helpmate. To be your helpmate. Along, called alongside you. Called alongside you. To support you. To support you. In everything God calls us to do. In everything God calls us to do. I leave my father and mother. I leave my father and mother. I join myself to you. I join myself to you. To be a wife to you. To be a wife to you. I determine to treat you. I determine to treat you. As the church should treat Jesus. Jesus. As the church should treat Jesus. And to always stand with you. And to always stand with you. On the word of God. On the word of God. For every decision. For every decision. We make together. We make together. You will be my husband. 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 <laughs> For as long as we both are alive. For as long as we both are alive. And from this moment. And forward, from this moment forward. We shall be one. We shall be one. Uh, may I have the ring? That's the wedding band. I'll flip the other one on. A ring is a ceremony that is A ring is a very precious thing, a token of your faith and your love. This ring is made out of precious metal. It is a never-ending circle that indicates the continuing love of God. A love that never fails, never presents itself haughty nor puffed up. The love of God and the faith of God is what causes his power to move in your lives. I want, I want you to wear these rings as a continual reminder of your faith, a continual reminder of your confession of faith you have made to each other and to God. Nicole, place this ring on you. Bernard, you repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I de wed. I de wed. It is a token. It is a token of my love. Of my love for you. For you. And a token. And a token of my of my faith. Of my faith that I release now. That I release now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Okay. And Nicole, repeat after me. Awesome. With this ring. With this ring. I de wed. I de wed. I give it as a token. I give it as a token. Of my faith. Of my faith. 
I believe with all my heart. I believe with all my heart. That this is forever. That this is forever. It is my love. It is my love. And my faith. And my faith. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Uh, my wife and I, we stand as representatives of Jesus Christ before God Almighty and in the name of the Father and His Son Jesus and by the power of the Holy uh, Spirit of God, I now pronounce you one together. You are now husband and wife. Now, <laughs> okay, as their first act, their first act as a married couple, they will both partake in communion. his commitment to us and a way to seal our commitment to one another. It is important that these, things, these, uh, these moments together, you honor the Lord and honor his covenant. Now take the bread. Take and eat this. This is my body, which is broken to you. This is in remembrance of me. This precious body bore your sicknesses and care of your diseases. The two of you together in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ have God-given faith and the God-given power to ward off sickness and disease and storms of life and everything that hell would offer any matter. Through this broken body, you have received into your hands the awesome power of the Almighty God. Lord, we thank you for this bread. We thank you for your broken body. And I join my faith with Nicole and Bernard as they remember you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Take okay. Jesus also said, this is my blood that ratifies the covenant. Drink of my blood as often as you drink and do it in remembrance of me. As you drink today, I want you to remember what he has done for you. I want you to remember the covenant that he has made available to you, the power he has made yours. Lord, I thank you for this, this representation of your blood. I thank you for the cleansing, the forgiveness power, the forgiving power of your blood. Okay, Nicole will now uh, do a demonstration of uh, a threefold cord. You want to hold it? I'm going to read you your blessing, your inheritance. So listen very carefully. According to Deuteronomy chapter 28, all these blessings will come on you and overtake you. And if you will listen to the voice of the Lord your God. Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall your children be. Blessed shall your business be. Blessed shall you be when you come in, and blessed shall you be when you go out. The Lord shall cause your enemies that rise up against you to throw down before your face. They will come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. The Lord shall command the blessing upon you in your bank accounts and all that you set your hands to do. And he shall bless you in the land which the Lord your God gives you. 
The Lord shall establish you as a holy people to himself, and as he has sworn unto you, if you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his ways. And all the people of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of you. And the Lord shall make you prosperous. The Lord shall will open up to you his good pleasure. You will lend to many, and you will not borrow. And the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. And you shall be one, you shall be above, above only, and you shall not be beneath. If you listen unto the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you this day to observe and to do them. Nicole, take uh, your husband, <laughs> Mr. Ake. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, <laughs> I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Bernard Mason. Yeah.